Publius Cornelius Scipio, one of the greatest generals of Rome. Known as Scipius Africanus after defeating Carthage and winning the Second Punic War, this man was ingenious and regarded by many as a genius, and rightly so. He set out to one-up Hannibal while Hannibal was ravaging and roaming through Italy. Hannibal's lack of support in Italy was not just because the Carthaginian Senate was unwilling to help him, Scipio was wreaking havoc in Hispania and the troops that were to meet Hannibal in Italy got caught up by Scipio in Hispania and of course his father and his uncle previously. Scipio fought at the Battle of Cannae in 216 BC as a young military tribune. This battle was a genius play by Hannibal that could have very well killed Scipio, as according to Livy, about 67,000 of the 86,000 Romans that fought here were either killed or captured. In 211 BC, his father and uncle were defeated and killed in Hispania by the Carthaginians. The Roman Senate needed to send someone to handle the Carthaginians in Hispania and to stop them from reinforcing Hannibal, but no one was willing to go. You know, I wonder why. Despite having seen a mass murder of Romans at Cannae and having family members defeated by his enemy, Scipio bravely stepped forward. The Romans accepted and sent him to Hispania, and so he went with vengeance in his heart. The goal was simple stop any reinforcements from reaching Italy, but for Scipio, this was not enough. He wanted total victory. In the next four years, his daunting task begun and finished. His first stop was Carthago Nova, the Carthaginian capital in Hispania in 209 BC. Having received word that enemy forces were at least 10 days away and that the city was very lightly defended, he decided to attack. He attacked the main entry to the port city with the bulk of his army, but his stroke of genius was using the low tides to attack the northern wall with a small detachment. The Carthaginians were not expecting this and were all busy fighting off the Romans on the main gate. When they noticed that the Romans had stormed the northern wall and were inside the city, it was way too late. His second stop was at Baiacula, where he met Azdrubal Barca, Hannibal's brother. In 208 BC, Hasdrubal was camped in a great defensive position. It was a high, steep plateau protected on the flanks by ravines. For three days, Scipio thought about how to tackle this challenge, but he was pressed for action due to fear of being attacked by the two remaining Carthaginian armies in Iberia. The Battle of Baecula starts as the Romans sent their skirmishers to attack the enemy skirmishers who were deployed in the front of the Carthaginians, blocking the pass. Despite the constant harassment, the slope and the difficulty of the terrain, the Romans succeeded in, in driving off the Carthaginian skirmishing forces. As the skirmishing was underway, Scipio divided his army in two. Half was sent around the ravines on the right and the other half on the left. Hasdrubal didn't notice this and only saw the Roman advancing skirmishing forces and limited infantry numbers and didn't realize that this was the main attack. Thus, he failed to properly deploy his troops. When both his flanks were hit, it was way too late. Hasdrubal fled the battlefield with whatever he could gather and tried to reach his brother in Italy. Scipio, knowing he still had two armies to defeat, was not able to pursue. In 206, Scipio finds himself near Ilipa, where he finds the two remaining armies of Carthage and Hispania. The two forces face off daily, waiting for an enemy move, and for days, nothing of note happens. The Carthaginians are said to have the numerical advantage, although if you pick certain sources you can actually make out that the Romans had a slight numerical advantage. However, it is not certain and it's likely that the Carthaginians had a numerical advantage. A routine was established and every morning the Carthaginians would sally out, followed by the Romans. This is Scipius' plan, he's studying the enemy's battle formation. On the final day, his men were up early fed and the skirmishers were ordered to attack both Carthaginian camps. The rest of the army followed suit. The Carthaginians had to prepare for battle and get in line quickly without breakfast and to make matters worse the Roman battle formation had changed. The Carthaginians had a host of battle-hardened troops in the center so Scipio who had his own heavy infantry in the center decided to deploy these on the flanks this time and attack the weaker Spanish mercenaries instead. His own Spanish auxiliaries would now be placed in the center. Scipio Scipio waited for early afternoon to begin the attack. The now starving and tired Carthaginian forces braced for an attack. The Roman heavy infantry poured on the Carthaginian flanks. The Carthaginian center was helpless as they couldn't help the flanks lest the Roman Spanish auxiliaries attack them. Within a few hours, the flanks 
crumbled. The Carthaginians started an orderly retreat, but then the Romans unleashed the Spanish auxiliar. Despite the confusion, many of the Carthaginians made it to camp. The remaining Spanish mercenaries were deserting the Carthaginians in droves, and soon victory would be complete. Scipio returned to Rome after securing Iberia and being elected the consul in 205 BC. In 204 BC, after convincing the Senate to disregard Hannibal and attack in Africa instead, he once again set sail and arrived at Utica, where he besieged the town. In early 203 BC, Carthage had sent two armies to deal with Scipio, but Scipio craftily sent men to set fire to both camps, succeeding and attacking the fleeing Carthaginians who were completely unaware of Scipio's stratagem. In 202 BC, Hannibal came back from Italy to defend his homeland. But this time around, he would face a battle-hardened Roman army supported by their Numidian allies, supplying the Romans with a very proficient cavalry force. Scipio knew of Hannibal's arrival and chose a suitable location for the battle. The Battle of Zama would ensue. The two armies met and the battle started. Hannibal sent his elephants forward, but Scipio had drilled his men to open corridors through his formation into which the elephants would go. These proved to be lethal for the elephants and their handlers. As the elephants charged, Scipio's cavalry engaged the Carthaginian cavalry. The Romans won and pursued. On the infantry engagement, Scipio was unable to outflank the enemy forces since Hannibal widened his front lines. The melee ensued, but the battle would be soon over as the victorious Roman and Numidian cavalry turned to the battlefields and fell upon Hannibal's rear. Victory was complete. And while Carthage still stood for another 55 years, it was crippled and stripped of its overseas territories. Publius Cornelius Scipius got his nickname Africanus and kept serving the Senate until his death in 183 BC. Scipio is a legendary commander and he would have subscribed to this channel for sure and liked this video. Hell yeah. So be like Scipio. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I've been Mr. Turd, signing off. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much.